seen Shore? I just stole his bike. What? I stole his bike. I don't know where Shore's at. What are you doing? My sprocket broke in half. I can't race. Line's moving, we're almost there. Only about 20 cars ahead of us. Okay, in the meantime, so we got we got Lillian, we got Mason, we got Luke, and then we got Jordan in the back seat. I was thinking something, you know what I've been thinking? So we've had you in the videos, people have seen you in the videos, but we've never like told your story, how we met you or what you do, which is kind of cool because he has a business that allows him to do some pretty cool stuff where he gets to like work with Racer X and go to Loretta's and stuff. So do you want to tell people about what you do? Um, I'm kind of a freelance photographer at this point. Talk louder, Jordan. Okay, wait, hold on. Before we get into that, why don't we start with how did we meet you? And I don't even know. Didn't we meet at like Woodland? I just ended up taking pictures of the kiddos and that's how, that's all I remember. I, all right, so I think I do remember that now. I think I do remember you just taking photos and that's how we met, but, and now he's like family. He weaseled his way into our family. He started out as being like a step kid and then he went from like being a step kid to being a nephew to being a cousin. What's up guys? And then he was like an uncle and now he's like Mr. Belvedere. I live with you guys basically, yeah. Basically lives with us. For someone who wants to get into photography, how do you recommend that they make a living out of it? Don't be afraid to make connections. Talk to people, ask for advice, talk business. Just ask around, have fun with it. Would you say too, like you just kind of show up at the track and then take photos of people and then that's how you make connections? Yeah. I just, I message people's it's like social networking um, through Instagram, Facebook. There you go. Thanks Jordan, we appreciate you. Five classes, five different waivers I gotta fill out. That's not good, what happened? Chain's popped off. No, look. Yeah, we're gonna carry this. <laughs> My friggin' sprocket broke! My sprocket! 
happy I just broke. Well, I, women's is the most important because I'm in the points lead for it. If you need to run my KX, you can. I want to ride Shore's bike. I'm taking his bike. Where's Shore? I'm taking his bike. on the inside. I thought Lillian was going to take it easy getting used to the big bike, but she did really good. She really got after it.
the people on the last lap. see that last lap charge that Lillian put on guys like whoa first of all I messed up I got the motos mis mixed up I didn't get her a GoPro in time I didn't even get her her uh, get the, the start but I got her working through the pack and I got the last lap which is probably cool the coolest thing she made like three passes two or three she made a couple passes on the last lap which was pretty rad I think I think she might be ready for a 125 that was one of the worst starts of my life. That was the best last lap. Like, I know. Do you realize how big of a lead they had on you? Yes, I saw. The I second to last lap, they were so far ahead of you. I was like, she's not going to get them. Yeah, I came over the table top right there, and I saw they were like, oh, going to the finish line. I was like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah, they were way ahead of you, and then you kind of disappeared behind the bleachers, and then I was like, she's not going to get them. And then when you came out behind the corner around the bleachers, you were like right there. And then you just hit the double, a lapper got in your way, and you're like not having it. You just kind of like weaved your way through both of them. That was so cool. Yeah. Good job, bro. Did you see my pass on around Lampers? Yeah, you passed around Lampers, and then there was a lapper right there, and you had to like figure out a line to go. I'm sorry you didn't have the GoPro, that would have been rad. Yeah, but. I just. I'm glad I jumped, hit, like I hit the sippy hole. I was kind of cautious to jump anything because short suspension. <laughs> if I come up short, it'll just bounce me because it's yeah. stiff. But then I realized how easy it was to hit the sippy hole, so I'm like, oh, I got to go for land first. And That's they rad. I love a good job. So what do you think? You want a 125 now? Yeah, but I still want to keep my super mini. Oh, you want both? You want the 125 and the super mini? Oh, OK. for watching i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that subscribe button smash that like button and peace out